Uh, Drew, if you want to have at it, we will have new video on this. And this vi this topic is going to be about, uh, let's see here, Atheist TV coming soon to a television near you. Drew, have at it. Hoss. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking at a gathering of local atheists, humanists, free thinkers, and other non-theists in a chemistry lecture hall at Stanford University, David Silverman, president of American Atheists, a national advocacy group for non-theists, announced Tuesday, May 6th, that his New Jersey-based organization would launch the first television channel dedicated to atheism in July. Why are we going to television? He asked the audience. A mix of about 100 students and people from the local community. It's part of our strategy of going where we are not. Silverman, 49, said the television channel, which would be available via Roku, an internet streaming player that attaches to televisions like a cable box, will run atheist content seven days a week, 24 hours a day. He estimated it will reach seven million households and will be free, at least initially. The channel, which Silverman did not name, is believed to be the first channel dedicated exclusively to non-theism. There are more than 100 Christian and four Jewish television stations broadcasting in the United States. The channel will air video of previous atheist events, such as footage from past American atheist conventions, and speakers at 2012's Reason Rally in Washington, D.C., as well as content provided by atheist video bloggers and other atheist groups. In addition, the channel will air segments of The Atheist Viewpoint, a show produced two decades ago by Madeleine Murray O'Hare, American atheist deceased founder and plaintiff in the 1963 landmark, landmark Supreme Court case that removed Bible readings from public schools. We are envisioning a lot of different content for many different atheist content creators, said Dave Misconto of American Atheist, Director of Communication. We are hoping to sign on many other atheists who create videos currently on YouTube and other places. Reaction from Stanford crowd was enthousi enthusiastic. A few began to applaud and a ripple of discussion buzzed throughout the room after Silverman's announcement. Tom Manger, an atheist from Ple Pleasanton, California, asked Silverman whether he considered creating an atheist radio channel. Manager said he has a playlist of more than a thousand songs that are atheist theme in nature or origin. It's a possibility, Silverman said. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm looking forward to this. There's no doubt. You better have the Skeptic Fen show be on that fucking television show because you're looking at content creators and vloggers out there. We're one of them. So, hint, hint. <laughs> Very nice, very nice, yeah. and shameless. And shameless, very shameless, very shameless. I will say that, but uh, go ahead, Drew. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, actually, I'd like to say that that was actually shameful. Shameful. We, don't, we won't change for anybody. Fuck, we're nah. Gonna, we're we're yeah. going to keep this shit exactly the way it is, whether you like it or not. Yeah, David people. Silverman, and you're going to take it. That's you're fucking gonna right. You're going to take every you're gonna take it like a man. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to like it. And you're going to know, and, and we're going to teach you how the tides go in and tides go out, okay? <laughs> Here's the tide going in, bitch. Here's the tide coming up. Oh, the tide's going right back in. Mm. Take it, big boy. I wow. hope he's watching. But go ahead, Drew. <laughs> yeah, I'm going there. Great. Go ahead, nah, the, the, the deal, man, I think it's great because it's just another means of getting the message out. Uh, anything that gives information that superstition and faith and all that is overrated. And oftentimes it's lethal and destructive. I think that's a good thing, getting that information out. Uh, I, I wish I would have had it when I was like younger, like in my teens, because I would have made it here a lot faster. Uh, but what, what, I didn't to have... The where, to the point where you're living in your mom's basement with long hair, wearing sunglasses inside. Hey, and not he works a lot and goes to school. <laughs> Chill out. You would have made it there a lot faster with atheism. Yeah, great, by, the way, great people, by the way, people, that's not true. I did not live in my mom's basement. He lives in a trailer. He rents out a room in a trailer. <laughs> in, Texas, in Texas, we call it a cellar. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think the station is going to be great, man. Uh, I, I would say I owe my atheism, or at least understanding all the points and arguments and stuff, I owe it to the internet. So yep. TV, uh, a TV station should be great, man. That'll reach a lot of people. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree 100% there. I think it's going to be awesome. So uh, we'll go to Paul and then TJ. Paul, what do you guys say? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm really glad they're going to have the, uh, the old stuff, too, from the American Atheist Conventions and stuff from Madeline or Hare. That'd be awesome. Uh, that's, that's stuff I really want to watch, and the fact that they're going to show it is pretty cool. Um, I, I, I really want to go to the conventions, but I'm broke, so who the fuck can't? So for them to actually tell, uh, you know, show speeches and other stuff from people, it's pretty cool. I, I really want to – I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to there actually being just a, 
a channel dedicated to secularism, not religious, you know, you know just secularism. I don't want to say atheism, just secularism, because all the, uh, I, I just like, it'd be, yeah, I don't know how to say it. It's just the fact that it's going to be dedicated to actually promoting that and pushing that instead of the, was it? Uh, like the TBN network and, yeah. and the 500 and, Club or yeah, whatever the fuck yeah, it is. Yeah, 700 Club and all the rest of that crap, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have our own little, uh, you know, little uh, station we could tune into, you know, uh, because to be honest with you, I don't even watch fucking TV anymore. But if that comes on, of course, yeah, I'll find how, how any means possible you, to find how it. How long so. do you think a channel like that will actually last? Because it's, they try like liberal well, channels and they're, they go down. They're trying. Like, they're, 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 well, they're, they said it's going to reach out to 7 million people. I'm like, we'll see. You know well, what I mean? That's. I honestly, you know, I, look, I hope for the best, but uh, you know, I'll pray for their success. Hey, we have we have we have a uh, uh, what's it, Cosmos now on mainstream television primetime. So yeah, but the, happen, the right? views are way down from what they were expected to be. Yeah, honestly, maybe Not I'm just much. a pessimist. Maybe I'm just a pessimist. Maybe the numbers go you up. Are, it's just because people stopped caring. People, if the Kardashian show comes on at eleven o'clock on a Sunday morning. That means they wake up to watch that and not to go to church. That's where I think this fucking this country is. Well, that's what they need. They need a live fucking, I guess you say, uh, reality TV show like this one right here, man. Because we don't fuck around, right? But I'm saying, yeah, well, we <laughs> no, don't I'm fuck just around. But, but this is, what I'm saying is like the 700 Club uh, the way is, we not, act. is not a... It's a is a popular online, I guess, show, but it's not a, a way to get your your information. Yeah, I and, understand, but I think I don't know, dude. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but no, no, I'm I'm just I'm trying to be truly, you know, skeptical honest. about it. I guess I, I I hope it does well, but I don't honestly see something like that uh, becoming necessarily huge. Maybe, I mean, imagine uh, a, a TV channel that just played like cool YouTube atheist videos i might watch that but i could pretty much do that on youtube well one thing i want to tell you is don't knock anything until you know what the content is going to be because you don't know what the content is going to be you don't know how they're going to approach us what shows they're going to have you don't know what the content is going to be and like it's why i'm keeping an open mind on this uh, no I, I agree with your point and everything like that and I, I i see where you're coming from to a certain point i agree with you but you gotta be skeptical of it, but you don't know what kind of content. You don't know if it's gonna be Dave uh, dancing in a fucking skirt. Who the fuck knows? No, 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 I agree. And Dark Matter just said the last picture on the internet will be of my cock. It will shut everything down. Uh. I I agree, but it won't be for a while because whenever one one billion HD comes out, oh shit, here it, we go. It's sometime in the future. Yeah, Ten, 1080 is not enough to handle the the micro penis <laughs> that micro is penis. Dark Matter. We're we're safe for oh, yeah. another decade. You motherfucker! You didn't see you didn't see my joke there. I said the uh, I said you know the, it's going to be the last thing that the internet will be or you'll see on the internet because of the power needed uh, to actually use the power. electron microscope to find his penis. <laughs> it's just a massive amount of power that it must take for that electron microscope, the biggest in the world. Uh, <laughs> all right, one shit. thing I want to end Love here. Dark matter. Well, one thing I want to end on this, I got a question for you guys. I just thought about this question. I think it's a good question. And if David, well, I will send this to David in the email if he watches it. I don't know. But um, this goes out to David. And make sure, you know, you, you, you propose that you're actually, what I want you to do is act like you're speaking to David right now, okay? What do you propose that he shows on this TV show? What would be a cool TV show that you would watch? That would be sort of a skeptic or a secular type of, of show. What would you watch? Let's let's off the cuff here. Let's go, TJ or anybody else. Let's go first. Come on. Secular yeah. show that I yeah, would just watch. Like, so, yeah, like, just like some kind of yeah, something that has totally to do with atheism. Or, idea. I'd like watch, Paul said, Paul I'd said watch a show called like Christians say the darndest things. That's that's a good <laughs> one. I like that. That's a good one. That's a good idea. I like that. That's good. Because oh, yeah, I I, th I honestly think that uh, making fun of someone's beliefs is actually. A, a good starting point because a lot of people are like you're just being immature but when you make fun of someone's beliefs like if someone is like my what's your favorite band and they're like striper <laughs> you're allowed to make fun of them exactly yeah no that's a good one i like that one i would watch that like, show of yeah course. see a show of like absorbed clips the week yeah. of just the and the what the fuck kind of thing yeah that would be good i would yeah. i personally would want to see like a well, you said actual, conferences and shit like that you liked, you said earlier. Yeah, the conferences, but I want I think to ask that'd be cool. you, I would love it if there was actually a show about the, the history of the country and just real things where it actually points out various things where, that people don't know, like the uh, <coughs> the fact that under God wasn't in the pledge until a certain time, the fact that, exactly. you know, in God we trust wasn't on the money, and all these other things that people don't know. I want, like, the little facts, the little bit of history that people that's, aren't that's, taught that's, about. That's cool, that, like secular history. Like, that you know, sounds that's more like a documentary cool. to me than a TV show. 
Yeah, but no, you could you 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 could do the history of Bellamy and, and how it started yeah. and go like this and, and do maybe like a thirty minute show of just the Pledge of Allegiance. And I think that's a good idea. So yeah, Paul, I like that idea. It's really like idea. you know just a history that, and just to take away the people's belief that this country you know to reinforce the fact that this country is secular. Mm -hmm. And when people say these things like okay, well this this proves it or Jefferson was a uh, you know they they go like the founding fathers were Christians. Well, no, let's have a show where you find where you actually Fact illustrate check it, yeah. Jefferson, Washington, uh, Franklin, all their views personally, and what they I actually think, said. I think it should be appealing to Christians, and so we should have shows called like "How Satan Invented Atheism." <laughs> no, no, I see your point. No, no, that's actually a good idea that that would pull the Christian demographic in to watch. Yeah, no, I understand. You gotta have shows like that too. But Drew, what do you think? Would yeah, be a good I, idea for I, I a would show. say if we could make some kind of a show that was almost like a throwback to what James Randi used to do. Yeah, that, dude, that, that really awesome. just encouraged his TV show with the like, shit? Dude, all across the board. Fuck with the astrologers. Fuck with all those people. People using dowsing rods and shit like start that. Off, that was good shit back then. He by, did. Drink, uh, by taking a whole bottle of sleeping pills, homeopathic sleeping pills. It'd be, it'd be good to have this type of channel because it, uh, you think about like the History Channel when it used to be actually about history. Now it's about oh, it's the, the Bible. The, what? Yeah, the Bible. Yeah, the Bible. Uh, what was it? The uh, oh my god, the Holy Bible. What was that? The Bible series, I should say. And then you yeah. got uh, Bible Secrets uh -huh. uh, revealed. Uh, that. Got, but that's a good episode. That, that's a good. That's a good series because Bart Ehrman was in that series. <laughs> on History Channel, Bible Secrets Revealed. So that was actually a good episode. I actually but watched it. Like you have stuff like on Science Channel or other series. channels that are supposed to be I watch actually, all the episodes. It's like stupid, stupid. Dude, ancient fucking bullshit. aliens. Yeah, ancient yeah. aliens. Please. Dude, we, we, this is what I was coming to earlier about the Kardashian and like Real Housewives of fucking Atlanta or wherever the fuck else they are. It is such a, a, a huge mountain to climb to get past people's need to just be involved in celebrity drama for christ's sake and just pay attention to real issues most of these people most oh, of geez. the nuns yeah, that we yeah. have are not people that have discovered the issues they're just like yeah. i ain't got time for church i've been watching kardashians yes. for six days straight absolutely you know that that's what we're dealing with in, in all honesty yeah we have the yeah. people that are interested mm -hmm. or a very very small amount uh, i don't want to i don't want to bring up when it comes to politics that small amount is mostly conservative and they all vote and that's why we actually have a republican versus democrat and i'm not a democrat fuck the democrats but at the same time way fuck the republicans in fact fuck the republicans so much i'll vote for anyone that goes against them